Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is November 22nd, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, so Tesla had a decent day today, so we are up $19.81. That's 1.74% uh, up. We closed at 11.56.87. Post-market, we are up. No, we are down. Okay, so post-market is all over the place right now. Let's look at what we have here. We have a little bit of a red candle today, a very small bodied candle. So things are not that frank. The body is red and we have a longer wick at the top than at the bottom. So this is indicating that there's a little bit of a selling pressure. We did go as high as 12.0195, 12.0195. We have a resistance at 12.1035. So right now this puts us in the congestion zone, back in the congestion zone between 11.1682 and 12.1035. So we made a higher low, we made a higher high. I'm just going to jump into the one hour chart here. We had the gap up on the one hour chart. We had the gap up uh, here. So nice green candle, very frank, very nice. Then a selling pressure here on the second hour. So the stock did not want to go higher. Then the third hour was a little bit of the uh, roller coaster because uh, the stock went down as 11.32 and then was squished back up. So now we have buying pressure that came to the rescue. Then we went sideways and now towards the last hour of the day, we started trending down a little bit, but we closed uh, basically at 11.55, which was the low of the first day. So um, looking at the support that we had here. So we are right on the support and even the second hour, look at this. The second hour touched almost perfectly the support that we have had since uh, I will say November 15th. This is like, this is confirming that this support on the one hour chart is good. In terms of the indicators on the one hour chart, stochastic uh, getting close to 63. So weakening a bit here. RSI is back into the, well, back out of the overbought zone. MACD still bullish here and the MI is still bullish here. As I mentioned on Sunday to my members, we broke on Friday. We broke 11.16.82 on Friday. That was nice. And the move that we had today is also nice, but I cannot help, but notice that uh, DMI is not that strong. So it's at 70. So I don't think that because of this, I don't think that this low is really ripe right now to go and beat the all time high. I'm going to say it. It's nice that we broke this. So until we remain, as long as we remain above 11.16.82, everything is going to be fine. But I think that the stock will just linger a little bit here towards this support here before going back up again. This is my prediction. This is a prediction, but don't act on my predictions. Act on what is going to happen. You can look at the hourly chart for yourself and see if what I say is right. What might be happening is that we might be crossing. We might be on the one hour chart, breaking this uh, support right here and going sideways like this and still be above 11, 16, 82. So uh, this is entirely possible. This is entirely possible. And I think it's very probable also, but that's fine. That's fine. The stock has went up and down and was very volatile. It makes sense that we just don't go all the way up. We could go all the way up, but uh, it's just a little bit less probable. And since we have this new top here. So I will do this for now. I think that we will be playing around here or even 12, 10, 35 is also good, but I don't think that we are going to break 12, 10, 35. If we do jump in by some calls just to get into that right, 
but I think we still need some time here. So I think we still need some time between 11, 16, 82 and 12, 10, 35. We need a couple of days here before going back up. There, I think that's the clearest way I could express it. What is nice? What is nice though, is that the RSI broke this descending strength as this happened last Friday. So uh, this is nice and this is still uh, happening here. And we have MACD that is closer to crossing over bullish and we have a DMI that's also great. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.